these girls. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. WWE's resident Mean Girls under the bright lights on the big stage, exactly where the Iconics belong. They may or may not be two of my most trusted sources. Oh, I believe that. This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and show no signs of slowing down. Two ladies who have known each other since high school in Sydney, Australia, now causing havoc and dismay. And goodness gracious, they do great impressions. They're horrible. Oh, this is awesome. And their opponents, first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, the first woman to main event a Monday Night Raw. Plain and simple, she may be the single greatest female superstar to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Yeah, a true trailblazer in the women's division. What a treat to see Trish Stratus in action here tonight. This is gonna be fun. And her partner from Stanford, North Carolina, Lita. Just as responsible for the women's revolution as anybody. Talk about a, a woman who's made so much history here in WWE. Remember when she was the first female, along with Hall of Famer Trish Stratus, to main event Monday Night Raw? And she was such an important part of the Hardy Boys, Team Extreme. Everyone's ready, and just like that, this tag team match is underway. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ooh. Axe handle finds its target. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Nailed it. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. 
the unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champion. Lita in a defensive mode now. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso and Trish Stratus, Mind Buster! Oh! Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two Trish said it. The chip kick from Trish. She got it. All that's left now is she goes for the cover. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express a strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble match was historic, but I don't believe it would have been possible without the contributions Lita has made to sports entertainment. The barrier she broke down in her career opened the door. The caliber of what's Peyton Oh, you got to love Peyton Royce. That spinning leg lariat. This is all but over. Suplex through. Not done yet. Going for a third. Perfect. This will she win it here. Michael, you recognize Lita opening the door for women. Many of those talented women were in awe of Lita when she entered the women's Royal Rumble. I can't imagine the feeling of sharing the ring with my greatest influence. Well, Lita put some of my least favorite women in their place when she had her signature moon song on Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks, reminding half of the four horsewomen why Lita's their hero. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team company. Lita has a pick opportunity here. She's able to turn it on in a flash. Tagged in. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh man, she's rolling now. Here's your girl, Billy Kay. Boom. That should do it. This isn't good. We've got a cover. What is keeping this competitor going? She's still in this one. Oh, that hurt. Knee to the spine. 
Fisherman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. What a stomp. Good grief. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. A superstar is always in a high-profile match when they main event a Monday Night Raw. A spot Lita once found herself in when she clashed with Trish Stratus for the WWE Women's Championship. In her home state of North Carolina, Lita threw caution to the wind as she put her body at risk, all because that night was about to be more than championship gold. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Ah, oh, what a kick. Now that's what I call making a state. She goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Nice kick out. Tagged in. And look at the quickness by Tristratus. Stratus. You gotta believe this one's over. Hey, Royce was able to get out of the way there. This might be it. Oh my. Beautiful technique. She might have it. She better do something fast. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. She's connects with a chick kick. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. This could do it. What a tag team display. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. This was another great moment. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here are your winners, Trish Stratus and Lita. Trish Stratus leads the team to victory. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for their shoulders to stay down for the three count. With that win of the books, we must now move on.